Alexa, open single garage door. Okay. Watch what it does. Hang in there. Garage door open. You get a voice message it, and it echoed all around my house because I've got probably about six or seven of these uh, dots or whatever, uh, Amazons around the house. So it echoed, it, it announced it everywhere. Now I'm gonna try it the other way. Alexa, close single garage door. Okay. Wait for it. Garage door closed. Just another thing you can do with this smart thing sensor. Hey guys, thank you for joining me again today for another video. I really appreciate you guys tuning in and I wanted to let you know before we get started here uh, with the smart things motion sensor multi-purpose motion sensor i want to let you know i did uh create a website uh to house all my videos along with all of my uh links to the products that i used in those videos so if you're looking for something you remember watching that video last week or something and you don't want to look for the video if you just go to twhomeshow.com right uh, i'll leave the link below and on the screen here Go to twhomeshow.com and there you're going to see that I've got a menu that organizes all the categories of my videos that I've done over the past few years and categorizes them and you should be able to easily find them once you get to the uh, correct category page and when you're on that video page you're going to notice there's a bunch of echo illustration or uh, Alexa Amazon I'm getting them all confused they're all by the same company right so you're going to see whole bunch of Amazon links with products. Those products have actually been used by me. I'm recommending them to you. I use them in my household. Some of those products I don't have a video for yet, but I actually have purchased them over the last couple of years. And I wanted to share them with you because they were that great and they worked for me. They had uh, a purpose to serve or, you know, they did something well and I left that link for you guys. So interesting website when you get some time check it out so guys when I got the multi-purpose sensor from smart things uh, I knew it was a Zigbee uh, device so it should work with my new echo plus because I wanted to try to uh, meet the entire audience's needs uh, make it simpler if they wanted it to just to stick with the echo uh, device community uh, and not uh, go out to get a smart things hub and get into something that maybe will add more to their life that they don't want in it right now uh, so <clears throat> I tried this device I wanted to work with smart things and with echo and it does so I accomplished something right there that just doesn't work in the same ways but this device I gotta say I'm gonna add these from now on on any type of contact uh, sensor uh, position I need around the house Mainly, it tells you the battery life as well. It tells you the temperature and as, as well as work as a contact sensor. So I'm going to use it around my house in several spots that I need on doors or windows or, and stuff like that. I recommend it because it's so tiny, it's so small. Uh, the unit will fit anywhere and pretty much be unnoticeable to any friends or family visiting. So I like that about it because I've had other one, ones before that were just giant, big, or they didn't clear when the garage door went up. I tried another one. When the garage door went up, it hit the cable that's pulling the garage door on the side. Every time it went up and made that turn to go horizontal, boom, it would knock that sensor off. So this is the first one that's so many, you don't notice it, but it's so action packed too. Uh, so I've mounted two of them on my door. You'll see here, I'll put a picture of it. The one on the side of the door where I put the sensor on as an L to make contact with, uh, that fits very well there. And that one uh, is hooked up to the Echo Plus uh, Smart Hub. Now the one that I was able to stick on the top panel of the garage door flat, uh, I even added the sensor part of it in case I wanted to use it somewhere else in my house 
at, in a future date because I know I'm just testing this with you guys right now. I don't need two sensors on that one door. I'm just testing it out, right? So that one I want to test out with the tilt feature. And that tilt feature is awesome. If you have a Smart Things Hub, get this little thing. And I was surprised the cost. Most of these sensors out that I was purchasing and trying out, they're like 30, 40 bucks a piece. This one was like $19.99 at the time I purchased it. So I'll leave the link below to that. And you can purchase one yourself and try it out. Make sure it works. Just try one out first. Even if you have a two or three car garage, I don't want to put anybody else out of money that they don't have to be out of. I'm just trying to give you this uh, sample that I've done in real life. Get, your, get one for yourself, make sure it works for you in real life. And then if it works, purchase another one for your other door if you have a two or three car garage. So guys, uh, we'll go through the programming here on both devices. I'll do the smart things first and then the uh, Echo Plus pairing last. Stay tuned. Okay guys, we're going to uh, program this multi-purpose sensor. Now what I've done is uh, this thing, uh, the cover, just snaps in here. This is your second piece. So we're going to slide that off and to reset it. Uh, when you first get yours, you won't have to go through this. You'll just pull that, uh, there'll be a plastic tab sticking out here. Just pull that out and it'll allow the uh, battery to make contact. But if you ever have to reset it, uh, this is how you do that. Just pop the battery out of here. Find a pin that will fit in this reset hole. Hold that down for a few seconds. I'd say about 15, 20 seconds. That's a hard reset. Replace the battery. Green light should come on here. Once that green light goes off, we're going to go ahead and press this in here for about seven seconds until it starts flashing red. And then we're going to get into our Smart Things app and hit the plus button to add a thing. And there we go. Simple as that. So now you want to rename it. I've been, uh, let's see. We'll name this uh, Garage 2-Door Sensor. And done. Save. Confirmed pair. Okay. And now if we go to... Uh, Garage two-door sensor is what we want to find right there. Whoops, clicked on the wrong thing. Right there, garage two-door sensor. If I click into that, now we're going to see how this responds. I'll put the cap back on here. Just slide that on until you hear a click. Right now it says it's open, closed. Open, closed. And notice, I want to point this out to you. If you have it like this, it will work too. Because sometimes, uh, I'll show you on the door, you might have to mount it like this. I'm trying to keep in frame here, sorry. So you can see the sensor at work. And if you have to have it spread out that, let's see, this far. That's closed. You can have it, uh, well, it's only giving me an eighth of an inch maybe. Now if you put it this way, the distance you get before it shows open, I noticed I could go almost an inch away. Well today I can get more than that there. So, so almost about three quarters of an inch to an inch is the play area that you have where you can mount these to your door. Now, why I like to use the Smart Things Hub, look at this, you still get uh, battery percentage light that's left in the sensor. You get the temperature, this also reads the temperature, so it's 83 degrees here in my office. Man, no wonder I'm sweating. And uh, if you go into your settings, 
the gear up top here. This is the cool part. Do you want to use this sensor on a garage door? Tap to set. So I tap that and yes or no. I want to use it as a on a garage door, right? And then save. Now watch what it does. Okay, you don't even need this part, the other magnet, only the main base with the battery. Now if it's up like this, it's going to state that it's closed because your garage door is like this, right? Now if it, your garage door goes up and you turn it like this, it says your garage door is open. And then it goes back down, your garage door, it's closed again. The reaction time is pretty good too. So that's why I like to use it with the SmartThings Hub. Now, if you don't want to get complicated in your house, you don't have the SmartThings Hub right now, you don't need to do it that way. And you can also hook this SmartThings multi-purpose sensor up to the Echo Plus in your house. So if you don't have an Echo Plus, that's what I would recommend. I'm gonna uh, show you a little bit about the Echo Plus in future videos. I just got one and I'm gonna see if I could maybe do away with my smart things hub it's a good way to get into smart home stuff once you get used to an echo a dot or something like that affordable step up and go to the echo plus so next i'll show you how to connect it to your okay guys uh, echo now plus. we're going to pair Stay tuned. our multi-sensor with the echo plus alexa discover new devices i'm going to hold the starting discovery pairing button this will take 45 seconds to connect your lights or plugs, just turn them on now. For sensors, power them on by removing the battery strip. For locks and other products, refer to the manufacturer's instructions to put them in pairing mode. I found two new devices. To set up routines triggered by these devices, go to the device detail page in the Alexa app. Okay, two new devices. Let me see. See if they're on here first. But what you want to do is you're going to go to uh, go back, like I told you, go to routines and we're going to add a routine. And when this happens, when the device, our multi-purpose sensor, when the device closes, save. Anytime when it closes, I'm sure you're in the screen there, let's see. We want to add an action. We're going to say, uh, or you could have it go to message. Well, let's do a message, right? We're going to say, uh, send an announcement. An announcement will be uh, garage. Whoops. Closed. Next. On all devices, do you want it to say that? Yeah, let's say yes. Okay, that's what it's going to do when it closes. And then you could have it do other actions as well. That's all we're going to do now for testing purposes and save that. Routine was created successfully. Now one more thing, I'm going to add one more routine. When this happens, this uh, look for the device multi-purpose sensor when it opens save anytime it opens we're going to add an action and this is going to be messaging action send announcement uh, we'll put garage open next on all devices next and add and then save okay guys that's how you do that <clears throat> you can have it send it to your phone or whatever like that I'm doing a message for a voice message out of all of my uh, Alexa devices in my house so let's go get these hooked up and like I said uh, if you have it hooked up to your Alexa or Echo Plus I mean it's only gonna work like this as a door sensor uh, well actually for our garage it's gonna go like this right it's going to open and close down so it'll be like uh, operating like a door or window sensor but when i hook the other one up i got two of these so i'm going to show you how to mount both of them 
and but the other one's going to be a tilt sensor this is going to be closed position and then when the door goes up this is going to be the open position okay let's go mount these see how they work okay guys i discovered you can uh pair your uh, smart things multi-purpose sensor to the uh, echo plus now the echo plus is a device that has alexa built in it's from amazon and it comes with a smart hub built in that's why they call it the echo plus uh, plus being smart hub and it uh, operates with or pairs with echo b or uh not echo b yeah echo zigbee it it, it communicates with zigbee devices so uh that's what makes it a smart hub now we did pair it and notice uh when we paired it, it said it discovered two devices during the pairing session well let's go here it does pair two devices from that one contact switch uh right here and one of them if you scroll down your devices, I'm gonna find it, uh, is named multi-purpose sensor. That one never, uh, it always says it's not recognized or whatever, or not connected. And I don't know what the glitch is on that, but I think that's picking up the part where it's got the thermostat readings and battery reading, and maybe possibly the tilt reading, and uh, the Echo device cannot uh, operate that yet. But then the second device name is called first contact sensor, depending on how many you add, then it'll be called second contact sensor. Well, I named mine, uh, I'm gonna show you, I go down here to garage. I named mine, uh, where is it? Garage contact sensor. That was named first contact sensor. If I click into that, it is responsive. It says the door is currently closed and it is currently closed. If we go into the settings, notice here, it says it's TW Home Show Echo Plus is what it's connected to. So we did successfully connect it to the Echo Plus. If you want to get one of those Echo Pluses, I'll leave the link below. If you already have an Echo Dot or something around your house and you're used to using that and you don't want to go into a smart things hub, making things more complicated for you, you want to keep it simple. You're used to using the Echo around your house. Uh, I'll leave the link. You can start building your smart house with that. It's got a hub built in. It's just limited uh, devices that you can connect to. Uh, only the Zigbee devices, no Z-Way devices can connect to it as of yet. So this is connected just fine. This will tell you if it's open or closed. You can check the status when you're away anywhere in the world to see the uh, status of your garage door. Now guys, you can check in your SmartThings app right here if you're away from home. Whatever you named your sensor right there, you can quickly see that it's closed right now. If you go into your garage sensor, you can check the battery levels and the temperature and the status of it. Now if you wanna check on Alexa, go to Amazon, right? And I put it into a category, a group, I should say, of in my garage group. Press on that to get to it easy. And I've got those two sensors right here. I can check on the status of those right there. Closed. And this one also says closed. So two ways to check on it while you're away. Is the garage contact sensor open? Garage contact sensor is closed. 